finally, I get to tell you my story. Now we got rid of the Grizzly, time to replace it with a Kodiak, another Yamaha. Like for what I'm about to tell you guys, it was, it was just crazy how it just worked out so perfectly. Like it couldn't have gone any better. I didn't want to go there and bust the camera into somebody's face and say, hey, you know, I'm just filming this. No, that's not how it works. Put, put yourself in my shoes. You wouldn't do that either. Buying this thing was one of the craziest purchases I've ever made. Not that, you know, it's a four-wheeler or anything, but just due to the fact of the predicament. He told me somebody else was gonna be there. I told him, you know, call him off, I'll pay you full price. He went ahead and did that. Didn't get a hold of them. Well, by the time I got there, those guys were already there. This is the machine, right? Yeah, my buddies. Are you here to look at it too? Yeah, bye. Oh, we are too. Now I did record a little bit on my phone. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear anything, but I did record a little bit. You guys are from Warren? Yeah. How, how long did it take you to get here? How I basically took care of it is the, the most fair way in my opinion. Those guys showed up first, so I gave them first dibs. Well, you guys were here first. I'll give you the first call. If you guys want it, you can have it. This is where it gets really, really fishy. This guy is selling it for a buddy, and he's changing the story like every once in a while. I wasn't talking to you on the phone. Oh, really? I don't, I don't really know why he was saying the things he was saying, but it was really, really confusing. I don't know nothing about it. I got all the paperwork. He told me. I understand if the machine was stolen or something like that. You're gonna hear these stories, but the thing was, is it's not stolen. Or if he did steal it, well, he did a very good job because he got the paperwork with it. That, that's why I don't think it's stolen. It came with the paperwork. Like, I have the transferable registration. He gave it to me when I purchased that. The only thing he didn't do was give me a receipt. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. But back to the story. These guys are already there. They're in the driveway. They're looking at this machine. The four-wheeler is actually running while I pulled in. If I were those guys, I'd be like, okay, this is already strange. Like, what's going on here? And that's how I felt. I'm like, you can't do this. What he basically did was he made his own auction scene. And what I mean by that is he, he got people that are interested in the same product, put them in a room, and said, hey, you know, whoever offers me the most money, they can take it. That's wrong. You, unless you're like an auctioneer and, you, and that's like, that's what people come there for, then that's wrong. So I get out of my truck, I leave my truck running because I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a quick five minute thing. These guys are gonna buy it, I'm gonna leave here unhappy. I thought I was gonna be in a little better condition. Well, the guys are checking out the rigs. They're a little, they're older gentlemen, okay? These guys are probably late 40s, early 50s. They're checking out the machine. I'm looking at it now, it was dark when I was buying this. I didn't really check it out. I just knew I liked the price and I was willing to pay full price. The one kid comes over to me who's selling it. It's not his, I guess. It's his buddies. Where are you from? Gowanda. That's the yeah, guy you're looking the, I, for. Yeah, that's the guy. I don't know, I was telling my buddy, and he's like, there's a guy from Gowanda coming and someone else is looking at it. I don't fucking know. Is that a thousand bucks or something? Yeah. Now remember, they already took off a hundred dollars off of the actual price. Yeah. I don't know. So you guys are looking at it at, for 900 though, huh? You guys beat me by a hundred bucks. He comes up to me and he's like, yeah, man, if you just give me the full amount right now, like, it's yours. I'm like, I can't really do that, man. I'm like, so what are you going to do? If I gave you the full price right now, what are you going to do? He said, well, I'd say it was sold. Now, mind you that there's one of the guys on the machine right now, like, he's going to take it for a test spin. So he's just saying he's going to say it's sold, like, get off the machine. This younger kid is flashing his money around. He's going to buy it. That's what I told the kid. I'm like, so you're, you're going to tell me that since I'm flaunting more money that you're just gonna rip it out of their hands? She says, yeah. And I might have captured that on camera. If you listen really closely, I have yet to listen to the actual recording, I guess. I let them take care of it. I said, check it out, you guys deserve it. This is where that worked out phenomenally. Being as straightforward and telling them how I really felt and showing my sincerity, I, I think that's the right word? Like, to be sincere? I'm just a redneck that works in a garage and does YouTube videos. What do I know about the English language? But I think by showing my sincerity, or however you want to say that word, if, or if that's even a word, I think that really benefited the transaction. They took it out for a spin. They didn't really like the machine. And now that I have it in here, I don't really like it either. But they got out, the one guy got off the machine that was riding it, told his buddy, you know what, there's no, this is no good. I'm like, 
ding, 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 in my head, I'm just like, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm like, yes, I bought this thing. I didn't drive 40 miles for nothing. I didn't waste my time. I didn't waste fuel. I didn't waste whatever else, internet. I don't know, GPS. So I played off real cool. Now, luckily, my grandmother has owned a shoe store business for my entire life, except for like two years ago, she sold the business and whatever. I learned a lot from her. We, we've done a lot of flea markets and stuff, so I understand how transactions work. I understand how you make a bargain. And, and for that, I wanna thank my grandmother very much. But she's not my favorite, Grandma. You, you can't do that. I don't wanna get into that spiel. Let's just continue to talk about the four-wheeler. I'll get in trouble if, if anybody sees this. You know, family, you know. It'll get awkward. Family reunion, everybody will bust my balls. Let's skip it. Those two guys leave, I'm ecstatic. I take the machine out for a rip. One of the headlights is out. The start button's kind of sketchy. And the whole story is sketchy and the whole environment is sketchy. I don't know nothing about it. I got all the paperwork to tell me one of them. There's nothing wrong with it. You, the thing, it's a tank. He pulls wood with it, you, yeah. I don't know. But that doesn't matter. I want a machine, I want to buy a machine. That's all there is to it, as long as I know it's not stolen. I said, well, you're gonna sell it to them for 900 bucks, so I'm not gonna pay $2,000. He's like, um, well. See, that's where if I acted like a total a total and said, hey, here's the money, here's all of it. Rip that guy off that four-wheeler. Not only would I have been the biggest there, or the second biggest there, but I would have paid more money, probably made those people upset, and then have to live with that and, and try to show you that I'm not being a, and then try to feed you guys excuses. No, I'm not doing that. So luckily, I have morals. So he goes, well, I'm gonna have to call my buddy. This guy's gotta sell it to me. Like, it doesn't make any sense for him not to sell it to me at this point. He offered it to them for $100 cheaper. He should sell it to me for $100 cheaper. At least that's what was going through my head, and that's why I'm like, oh, I got this guy in the bag. Gonna save a hundred bucks. I'm gonna I'm gonna make out like a bandit, and I did. He comes over to me. Okay, jump on it. Meet me down at the road. Let's load it up. And that's where you see me loading it up. My good buddy Danny, Danny the Manny, you know Danny, the one who found the grizzly. Well, he hooked me up with the fellow Yamaha, the Kodiak. He didn't hook me up. He didn't pay for any of these machines, but he did find the deals, and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna have to take him out to lunch. Take care, Danny. Good dude. I appreciate it, Danny. Thank you very much. And I'm going to pick this thing up off the ground right now. That looks like 50 bucks. Does that look like a pop tire to you? It does me. So not only did I get an adrenaline rush, but I also made a deal doing it. Granted, I got a little cold and a little wet, but the positives totally outweigh the negatives. They always do, at least in my life. I'm not one of those naysayers that go ahead and click the dislike button or leave shitty comments in the comment section. No, not at all. I'm gonna stay positive. Life's amazing that way. Love's amazing that way. And you get much further ahead acting positive. I should be a damn preacher. So if any shit hits the fan, I will definitely let you guys know. You guys gotta have my back. If this ends up coming up stolen or something, you gotta be like, no way, man. Dalton's got transferable registration. I wanna ask you guys, what has been like the sketchiest transaction for you? Not only have I been in this kind of predicament, but I've also been in a weird predicament like at Walmart, for example. Like, you know, the automated uh, cash register people, you know, they're replacing people with robots, so you, you know what I'm talking about. Cash yourself out. Well, anyways, I was with Jake the Toilet Snake. I put a $50 bill in one of those job replacing machines. And I ate that 50 bucks up, and thought I only put a $10 bill in there. Or it might not even been 10, it might have been zero. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? I ended up telling some manager check, she had to take all the money out of the machine. And when she pulled all the money out, there was like $10,000 laying out. If you were desperate in that situation, you could have just ran up, stole like 10 grand and gone. As long as you had like a ski mask or something. I don't recommend stealing, terrible thing. Go ahead and make your money the right way. The legal way. But anyways, I got my 50 bucks back. That was another sketchy transaction. So I wanna hear a sketchy transaction from you. That's what the comment section's for. I wanna see it in there. Be like, 3D machines, you'll never believe it, but leave it down there. So tomorrow we'll start diving into this thing. Right off the bat, I can notice there's a lot more plastic broken than I originally seen, saw, that I originally saw. English lesson, you guys. 
Leave that in the comment section below too. No matter what, this plastic, I didn't notice it was this bad. I didn't notice that they actually spray painted this and over sprayed everywhere. They didn't even use the right color. They used, they used flat black instead of gloss black or satin black. Front tires, I've seen much better. <laughs> these, these things are worn right down. Back ones, believe it or not, aren't that bad. Now this rear brake caliper is welded on here. One of the mounts isn't correct. I don't even know if that's the correct position of that caliper, but what I do know is it's not factory. This dude welded on it. The caliper is welded. The caliper is welded there. That's gonna break right off. You probably can't see it because it's dark, but I will show you tomorrow, I promise. When, when we start tearing into this thing, I will show you. I wanna see some thumbs for seeing me actually survive that transaction. Like that was out in redneck country. No, no offense to any rednecks, but that was like out there where the shotguns are, the cows, all the good high quality fun stuff is. And some people, you know, they don't live through transactions like this. So smash that like button. I want to see those thumbs. And I also want to see your sketchy transaction in the comment section below. Saying that, I hope I see you guys tomorrow. I look forward to working on this POS. I mean this, I mean this wonderful machine. But until then, 3D Machines out. Take care, you guys. Yeah.